Time after time, you try to take this castle. But you will never succeed, Skeletor. Call your champion. What's up, you beautiful collectors and masters of the universe fans? It's the one and only Optobotom is coming at you with another video review. And on today's episode, thanks to the absolutely incredible support of my Optobotomist Plus channel members, and even those of you that just hit that thumbs up button, today we're going to be taking a look at the new Masters of the Universe Revelations Deluxe Battle Cat. Part of a new line of which they are calling their Masterverse. This is Battle Cat as he appears in the upcoming Netflix series. Which we just got a trailer for like a week ago. And is really impressing a lot of people. It was even a trending topic on Twitter which is amazing. Because it's He-Man. And honestly there hasn't been a ton of hype for the franchise in a very long time. Collectors have always been on board, whether it be the Maddie Collector Classics line, the more recent Super 7 releases, or even now with the Masters of the Universe Origins. The hype just hasn't been there with all that other stuff. It's been a lot more centralized of a franchise, I guess. But now with this new series coming to Netflix, it seems that maybe finally the Masters of the Universe will be taking their rightful place amongst other pop culture sort of classics now the first thing that instantly popped in my mind when i first got this was that battle cat here is a lot bigger than i expected both obviously in terms of the packaging form plus the figure as you can see though you got this nice open window that showcases you got the masterverse thing up there masters of the universe revelations you can kind of see in the background it looks like a kind of rock sort of pattern but it's kind of uh, taken up by this big guy great detail on there can't wait to get him open the side here it says uh, battle cat he is a fighting tiger other side here has a really cool artistic image of him and you can see some other things like flying around really very cool come around on the back the box art looks fantastic not entirely like the uh, animation that we've seen, but still looks really cool. And then you can see other characters that are going to be coming out, including Skelegod, which has been showing up at places. I might be able to find one of those uh, locally here, with, like, much like what I did with Battle Cat. Of course, you got He-Man, Moss Man, regular Skeletor, and Evil Lynn. And it says, the cowardly green and yellow talking tiger Cringer wishes for nothing more than to peacefully relax by Prince Adam's side. But when Adam raises his power sword and summons the power of Grayskull, Cringer sheds his whimpering nature and transforms into the mighty Battle Cat, ferocious fighting steed and loyal best friend of the mighty He-Man. And what is absolutely fantastic is that while you could remove the armor on just about every Battle Cat in the past, this actually has this branded as Cringer when his armor isn't on. And you can even see like the face and everything has a tremendous amount of detail put into there. Now, obviously, he's not going to be the small sort of tiger that uh, we're used to seeing with Battle Cat. But I love the fact that they have that actually put into this as well. We haven't seen the show yet, so we don't know if Cringer is a smaller tiger that just gets bigger, much like the vintage sort of thing, or if this is him full size and it just adds on armor. Who knows? We'll find all that out here in a couple weeks. But for the packaging on this guy, that's about it. So without further ado, let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is. <laughs> Alright guys, so here we have the new Masters of the Universe Revelations Battle Cat opened up and out of his packaging. And this is an absolutely terrific figure. Well, yes, unfortunately, we haven't really gotten a lot in terms of, you know, uh, cartoons, movies, all that kind of stuff. He-Man fans have kind of been spoiled by getting some really great action figures over the years. For all the problems that Maddie Collector had, they made good figures. And as I said in the beginning, that was carried on very nicely by Super 7. The line ran its course through those two, and now Mattel is doing it once again with a full retail line. And this guy really is fantastic. As you can see, he is very large. Uh, uh, again, I was kind of blown away by the size of this guy and it, it really it just kind of blows my mind honestly how big he um 
actually is. Uh, mostly because, I mean, yeah, I uh, did have that original Classics one. And you can see that this has a very, I don't want to say Classics, but a classic look for Battle Cat. Obviously, he's got the helmet, the harness, the green, the yellow, all that kind of stuff is there. So it gives a nice updated look for the character. I wish I had that Classics one still to kind of show you, but... This still has a lot of really good detail, great paint applications all the way around, and a ton of articulation. This is on the scale of what we got with the Classics line. Now, uh, for some size comparisons right up front, let's, let's do this. This is the new Origins Battle Cat. And you can see there is a big size difference here. I'm going to set he I got He-Man right here. I'm going to set him out to the side. Uh, but you can see there is a big size difference between these guys. It's also worth noting that uh, even though he does have a lot of articulation, you can't really get his head up a lot. Um, I'm, I'm just going to take this off. This uh, joint right here kind of stops right there. So his neck is always kind of going to be in a straight line like that. That, that, that is a little unfortunate. It's not terrible by any stretch of imagination, but it kind of does give him a looking down or very straight sort of thing. Whereas this, as you can see, it kind of goes around and then shoots up. But you can see a, a very similar look. Obviously, things have changed from the vintage look to the new, more modern look. But it still maintains that overall appearance. Color-wise, you can see that uh, this is a little bit more red. This is a little bit more dulled down. But you also got some really nice extra, like, orangish detail on there, which looks really good. But you're also noticing a big difference in terms of the coloring for Battle Cat himself. Uh, this is a much darker green, whereas this is a little bit more kind of pea uh, color, I suppose. And then you can see that there's a little bit more orange in his tiger stripes, whereas this is more yellow. Now, when you take a look at uh, the classics Cringer, that's what this is, you can see that uh, at least like the orange here matches a little bit more like that. Obviously, again, there you got the uh, size difference. But Cringer in the original series was smaller. He was uh, a small kind of kitty cat, and then he grew much larger. Again, we don't know if that's what they're going to do with the new battle cap. Time will tell obviously but uh still looks really good now for a classics comparison i don't have a lot of those cl uh, classic figures anymore i do have one of the original horde acts but you can see he scales pretty decently i think with them i don't know really if you can get him. you probably could get him to sit on there uh, you can kind of see that uh, he does have a fairly large loincloth and you do have some divots here so you can kind of i mean Let's see if I can get these legs spread out a little bit more. I mean, you can kind of do it. It's going to take some uh, finagling to do, but you can kind of get him riding on there. I mean, it's definitely possible. It, you, you would have to uh, kind of fight with it a little bit to, to get it to work. Uh, here is the Origins He-Man. That's definitely a little bit... Uh, out of scale in my opinion but i do think that the new uh revelation figures are going to be in the seven inch range so uh more along the lines again of the classics figures but i mean how cool is that and as i talked about you can't and i even kind of showed it you can remove the uh, the armor and create cringer again i don't know if cringer is going to be this big but this just kind of pegs in there you can see you got little divots around here and everything kind of lines up with his head goes around his ears and everything so it kind of Fits in there fairly decently. Uh, it, it's not as secure of a fit on there as I would like. But, I mean, it's not falling off or anything. But uh, you do have uh, specialized areas here that kind of like go around his ears and everything. Great detail, though, with the head. You you can see that it does have a little bit more of like a cringerish sort of look to him. Uh, especially like the, uh, the lower section here. Like these are really big. You got the teeth that kind of stick out. Kind of like that one there. Definitely doesn't have that same uh, Battle Cat kind of vibe. So if I take that, I mean, like, he it really looks kind of angry and everything. So just taking a look at the heads. And I wish, like I said, I could get that up a little bit more. Let me bring my camera down here a little bit more so that you can see that more straight on. So you can kind of see, in, in terms of the overall face sort of pattern... It kind of gives a little bit more of this cringer sort of look, which I dig. I think that's really cool. I like that. 
Um, you got a uh, real nice paint application throughout the entire thing. You can see that the mouth has a lot of sculpted in teeth. That's really nice. Whole bunch of different uh, variations with the green like uh, around here. And then that you got a little black section here for the nose. You got little black bits around the uh, ears themselves. I like how his eyes are yellow. And then when you actually look at this, this, I mean, I love the way that that looks. That is really very, very cool. If I can get it to focus on it. There we go. Uh, real great detail on there. I just love the angular look of it. Uh, it. It does, again, you know, have a similar sort of look, but a little bit more sleek and, like I said, angular. I, I really dig that. like the coloration there in the eyes. And then, again, you can kind of see that you got a little bit of orange right here and then along the side there. Uh, for the rest of his armor, very classic-like. You can remove this. I will say that the overall armor is fairly soft. Uh, that's one thing that I, I don't know if I like. This is a much more rigid plastic, but you can see like this. Is, well, even this is a little bit more rigid, but it is still definitely flexible. This, though, is very soft, uh, rubbery rubber. So uh, that's worth noting. Uh, these are a little bit uh, harder of a plastic, but this is definitely fairly flimsy i guess but then when you take it off you do kind of reveal some ugly joints around here there's not really much you can do about it i love the fact that there's all this extra articulation inside them uh, i think that's really very cool to see and coming back here uh, but you definitely do get some uh, ugly joints with that um, it is what it is you know but uh, i love the fact that they have all this extra articulation Going over it, you can see that the mouth does open and close. Uh, the head here does feel like it's on a ball joint. So you kind of get some uh, left and right and then up and down motion there. And then you do have this, which is just an up and <clears throat> up and down joint. Uh, you can kind of see that the uh, tuft of hair here goes underneath that little cut. So um, I, I do wish that went up a little bit higher. That's definitely for sure. Uh, the shoulders... Full range of motion, they go in and out, real good articulation. The uh, little elbow sections, again, you got hinges, you got swivels, you have that down here with the ankles as well. All that articulation is there. You have this section, which again is on a ball joint, so you can rotate that how really uh, ever you see fit. But you look at all that sculpted in detail. Again, like I said, classics level amount of detail, which is really nice. And then you have a ball joint here uh, at the back section, and probably want to angle that up just a little bit more the, the the stripes really don't seem to line up all that perfect but you're gonna have that on there anyhow uh, the back legs again they move in and out forward back you have the pin hinge joints here they rotate you got another joint at the uh, the back section and then the feet great detail on the bottom with some nice darker pads formed you got nice black claws you got a tail that has a pin hinge joint here uh, nothing anywhere else on it but all that other articulation is still kind of there so i mean you can pretty much put this guy in any pose that you want so in general i do really like i said i really really like what they did with this it, it, it basically in my opinion it is taking the classics sort of uh, detail and articulation and giving it to us in a main line release this is something that collectors have talked about for a long time uh, with the classics line going away and everything and why couldn't we get classic figures at retail blah 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 uh, i feel like you you could have done that um had you had a show or something to kind of help support it but because they never did wasn't something that they could do very easily so Super, super excited about this. Uh, I do believe that the series is going to be good. Uh, I feel like Kevin Smith, who is, I believe he's the showrunner for it, uh, is doing it proper. I, I, I feel like he's legit making this as a fan, and I am beyond excited about it. I, I, I really, really am. It doesn't come out until, I think... The end of July, uh, so as of the recording of this video, uh, we are still about a month away from it releasing, um, but 
I really think it's going to be uh, an exciting time for Masters of the Universe fans. Uh, now all we need is a live action movie. And it's it's just fun. It's great to be able to bring this franchise into people's homes again and hopefully get the excitement for it as high as possible because that level of excitement is what it will take to finally get a new live action movie which i think all of us really want to see but uh beyond that guys that's about it there is your look at the new masters of the universe revelations battle cat now as i said i found mine actually locally at target i don't know if this line is a uh, store specific thing or anything like that but it does seem that uh, some people are finding this fairly early i guess both him and that god skeletor thing which i will be getting as well so if you are looking for him good luck and happy hunting and as always if you enjoyed this video i would really appreciate it if you would help support the channel by simply hitting that thumbs up button. Believe it or not, that one very small gesture really does go a long way towards helping me out and I would really very much appreciate it. Also, again, I gotta send a huge shout out to all of my Optibotomist Plus channel members who through their direct support continue to make reviews like this possible. And if you'd like to help support my channel by becoming a channel member, where through your monthly contribution, We'll get access to channel and chat emojis, loyalty badges, exclusive unboxing videos, live streams, Zoom calls, access to the Optibotomous Plus Discord, as well as the occasional giveaways like all of these guys do, then please consider becoming a member of Optibotomous Plus. And for that, all you have to do is click on that little join button right down there. And as always, remember that the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.